State television company Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast. President Armenak Abrahamian referring to the article of Gamersan. OSCE chairperson in office highlights settlement of Artsakh conflict among 2021 priorities. The villages of Java receive new medical equipment. Sergei Lavrov and Muhammad Javad Zari to discuss situation of Artsakh in Moscow. Only Turkish lobbyists are enthusiastic about the normalization of relations between Ankara and Baku in Armenia. The hidden treasures of Western Armenia, the Granagert Waterfall. The first Armenian periodical, The Pigeon of Masis, was published on January 15, 1856 in Paris, France. The President of the Republic of Western Armenia, Armenak Abrahamian, referred to the material spread by the Russian Kamersant. The President expressed his disagreement towards the given material, noting that as a result of trilateral negotiations, the railway line passes for the border of Western Armenia and there were no discussions with him and no verbal or written permission. The President of Western Armenia, Armenak Abrahamian, once again reminded the following. The San Remo conference was held in 1920, during which the issue of Armenia was also discussed. The conference called on U.S. President Woodrow Wilson to assume Armenia's mandate and mediate in clarifying its final borders. It was decided to state that Armenia and the other contracting parties agreed to apply to the U.S. President for mediation on the issue of borders of Turkey and Armenia and to accept his decision in this regard, as well as the condition he would offer Armenia for having access to the sea. Now the Turks announced that the Artsakh issue is resolved or is being resolved concluding some agreements. But Armenia should not sign any agreement with these countries, which will recognize the borders of Turkey and Azerbaijan. Besides, this route passes for the Nakhijevan Autonomous Republic, while another route will operate for the territory of Armenia, which will connect Azerbaijan to Nakhijevan. This will contribute to the settlement of Azeris in those territories and the liberation of the Armenian territory will become more difficult. In this case, the Republic of Armenia must recognize Artsakh and Nakhijevan as a part of Armenia's state and must take steps to return them. It is necessary to act jointly for the implementation of the Wilson Arbitral Award. Turkey's participation in this war and the steps aimed at normalizing relations with Armenia have a special purpose. As today, Turkey is trying to be involved in the European Union and it will not happen as long as there are disputes on border and territory with Armenia. In this case, all Armenians must concentrate their efforts offering a mutually beneficial solution of returning the territories of Western Armenia. OSCE chairperson in office, Swedish Foreign Minister Anne Lind, highlighted the settlement of Artsakh conflict while presenting the priorities of the Swedish OSCE chairpersonship 2021 to the OSCE Permanent Council. As reported by Armen Press, the official website of OSCE reports, we need to keep the resolutions of the conflicts in our region on the top of our agenda, she said, mentioning the current crisis around Artsakh, Ukraine, Moldova, Georgia and Belarus. Nurses of the villages in the Akhalkalaki municipality of Javak got new medical equipment and supplies to overcome the social difficulties caused as a result of the COVID-19 epidemic. The new medical equipment was purchased in the framework of the MPART-2 project implemented by LAG municipality. In general, 44 village nurses received new medical equipment and supplies. Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov and his Iranian counterpart Mohamed Javad Zarif will discuss the situation of Artsakh. Russian Foreign Minister spokeswoman Maria Zakharova said at a press briefing on January 15. On January 26, the Iranian Foreign Minister will pay a working visit to Moscow, during which he will meet with Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov. It is expected to continue the exchange of views on a number of international issues, including the current situation of Artsakh, Syria and Afghanistan. Other issues of the bilateral interest and the international agenda will also be discussed during the meeting of the ministers. Only Turkish lobbies, the people who received grants from Turkey before the war, are interested in the normalization of relations between Ankara and Baku in Armenia. Doctor of Historical Sciences Haik Demoyan stated this today during a meeting with journalists. According to him, only grants are important for those people and they are not interested in the future of Armenia and the Armenian people. He mentioned, We saw how the events against the Armenians were organized in 2020 within the framework of the anniversary of the genocide against Armenians. We remember how the word demand was removed from the popular slogan. An attempt was made to promote the idea of defense while episodes of violence were pushed to the background. 
It speaks of the fact that work is being carried out to organize cooperation by force on the background of an aggressive approach by Turkey. The province of Chermik, Western Armenia, which plays a huge role in the field of pharmatherapy, will become a new park for natural lovers. There are many historical, cultural and natural beauties in Chermik, such as the healing water resources, having a positive effect on many diseases, the 100 years old baths and Mount Gelinjik. The Golden Triangle of Mesopotamia, where the Twin Falls and the walkway are located, is a perfect place for isolation during the epidemic. It should be noted that the name Chermik comes from the Armenian word Jermuk, meaning hot mineral water. Pigeon of Masses magazine was published in 1855 to 1858 in Paris, in Armenian and in French, in 1860 to 1865 in Theodasia, in Armenian and Russian. The editor and publisher was Gabriela Ivazovsky. The aim was to present the achievements of European civilization, science, to arouse love for arts and crafts, and to promote moral education. He gave great importance to education and science, published popular science talks, pedagogical and historical articles. It has had the Radugo application since 1860. Now we present a performance by Ardwin Ensemble. The full version is available on the official website of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.